All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week so far. First day of the work week, Monday. Unless you work on weekends, then it doesn't matter what the first day is. But I know, I know, I know. I said I wasn't going to make any more releases of Mio Linux. And here I am, just completely caught out as a liar. I also said I wasn't going to make any more YouTube videos, but I've been making a few here along. And what has happened here, the reason I made this release, um, as you may well know, I've been using uh, Devil and Series, which is their unstable version, for several years now. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I, don't, I was starting to get a little bit tired <laughs> of all the constant updates. And I, I decided I'm just going to go back to a stable release, just enjoy that for a while. <clears throat> so as I was building this system, um, it occurred to me, you know, I could actually go ahead and put out a release because it's not going to take that much more um, effort, really, to actually do a release. <clears throat> so, sorry, <clears throat> my Got a frog in my throat or something. <laughs> so, what I did, I went ahead, I built my system, and then I decided to just go ahead and make a release out of it. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at the release notes, and we might look over the auto start file, just to give you a quick little... A rundown of what you're going to be getting with this release. So you say, okay, Dan, I appreciate that. Uh, what's really new with this release? Not much. It's Mio Linux. <laughs> Are there any new great features? Not really. <laughs> it's Mio Linux. But we'll go over all that. So sit back relax and let's dive into this okay Now the first thing, I put this on the SourceForge site, on the README file. After you install this, you're not going to have, I've tried it on the 32-bit and the 64-bit, and it works the same both times. After installation, you have no menu icons. So all you have to do is come over here to Open Box Settings, Ob Menu Generator, and refresh icon cache okay so let's click that give it a second to refresh and now we should have icons the next time uh, we open the menu it's taking a minute there we go. oh look at that thing of beauty yes <laughs> yes and of course this is ob menu generator so let's go ahead and look over the release notes. Now the release notes, <clears throat> they will remain on your system. And they're in the documents folder. So let's go ahead and open those and we will go over these really quickly. Now, I might have, let's see. Okay. Um, here we have just basically what this system's about, and this release of Mio Linux is based on Devlin GNU Linux 4 Chimera and is codenamed Saluta Simplice. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with <clears throat> the X, or not the X, the late distro called Simplice. It was a Debian-based uh, rolling release based on Debian SID. Well, they also had a uh, stable version. 
but it was famous or kind of famous about it using SID, one of the few actual SID distros you could get back then. And that's the distro that I started using in it. That's what really turned me on to OpenBox. Um, I know a lot of people trace their love and appreciation for OpenBox back to um, CrunchBang. And I came along into the Linux world a little bit too late for CrunchBang. I think they had already wrapped things up. So I found Simplice. I saw Ghost67, who's now Station67. He did a distro review of Simplice. And man, I thought it looked absolutely fantastic. So I, I jumped in and I mean, I just fell in love with it. It was such a great system. So now what I've done, I'm doing this to honor Simplice, but all I have done is just take the last wallpaper that came in their last release back from 2015. And this is that wallpaper. And this wallpaper is also used as the light DM uh, background image, and it's also used as the grub screen. Uh, however, I did darken the I did darken the image a little bit for the grub screen. So that's it. This is my way of honoring Simplice and G7. G7. He was the developer, and believe it or not. He was, when he first started Simplice, I think, I mean, I think he was like 14 years old, something like, I mean, don't quote me on that. I know he was a young, young guy in his teens. So, I mean, the dude, the dude knew his stuff and actually Simplice, the open box version came with their own uh, desktop called Vera. So this is just my way of honoring Simplice and G7 and to thank them or him for bringing OpenBox uh, into my life. Okay. Form updates first after installation. In other words, your repositories are not going to be active until you run an apt update or an apt get update. So make sure you do that. Uh, there's there's not any actual updates right now, but after a while you might want to go ahead and run an apt upgrade or dist upgrade also. And again, uh, I didn't point this out or did I? Yeah. I did say it. It's based on Dev1 for Chimera, which is the latest stable release of Dev1. A note for non-English installations, I have included locales all, but you will still need to look for your task packages, such as if you're German, you want to install task German. And you may also want to consider task German desktop insert whatever uh, country you're from okay the right click menu is I've already mentioned uh, provided by ob menu generator and that's a dynamic or you can you can use it as a uh, static menu also sorry I couldn't think of static <laughs> there's no power manager installed however I'm using H set root just to keep the screen from turning off. Okay. If you want to install a power manager, it's me, oh baby. You can install one. <laughs> How to enable sound with also if you have more than one sound card. There is no number lock package installed, and that package is called numlock X. Uh, if you want your number lock to automatically be turned on when you start your computer just install numlockx and everything I'm saying about these items 
uh, they're in the re actual release notes. Okay. How to activate the firewall with UFW. Only UFW is installed. I do not install GUFW. And I just give just a few quick basic uh, terminal commands to get UFW working. Screenshots. All of your screenshots will go into your pictures folder. Okay, wallpapers and wallpaper changer, which that's a script. Wallpapers and the wallpaper changer script is controlled by HSET root. So it's not as easy as having a GUI. You can just choose a different wallpaper. You actually have to do a, a little bit of work. <laughs> it's not really work. Just have to change to the uh, wallpaper you want to use in the auto start file. Or if you're using the wallpaper changer, you have to change to that in the auto start file. I'm using PyCom to uh, do the compositing instead of Compton. I've included the Papyrus folder script so you can change the color of the folders in your file manager if you want to. Screen lock is being provided by S lock and miscellaneous notes. So let me look at the, I can't remember if there's really anything I want to talk about in the miscellaneous notes. Let's see. Oh yes, there is something I want to talk about. <laughs> I made a key bind to open up your web browser. However, as you know, there's no web browser pre-installed on NeoLinux. It's up to you to decide what web browser you want to use. Now this key bind, the super key or Windows key plus the letter B will open up whatever your system assigns as the XWWW browser. Okay. This is not tied to any specific browser. It's just whatever your system assigns as that XWWW browser. Now, if you want to go into the RCX XML file and change that to so that it will open up a specific browser, you can do that, certainly. <clears throat> if the launchers if they remain in the menu, uh, the root account, that's what customized look and feel as root is for. And using the refractor tools and my special acknowledgments. Okay, so let's look real quick and see what you get on this bad system. Let's open our menu, you get a quick link to the file manager, which is PCMAN FM. The terminal is uh, Sakura. The run command is provided by DMenu and your screenshots. Now, I also have it set, if you hit your print screen key, it'll take a full screen uh, screenshot, and that also goes in your pictures folder. Under accessories, we have LeafPad and PyCom, and I know, I know, LeafPad is no longer being developed, but it's my favorite text editor. I can't help it. So I'm going to keep putting it in my system <laughs> unless for some unknown reason there's a huge security risk with using LeafPad one day. <laughs> in multimedia, now I've installed GUVC View and Simple Screen Recorder. All you get is Awesome Mixer and that's just a desktop file that I made to open up the Awesome Mixer in Sakura. Network, all you get is Conman UI setup. And under settings, you get AR and R, customized look and feel. You can change the light DM uh, greeter if you want to. Notifications, open box, and tent to. And under system, you get bleach bit, GDB, G parted, synaptic. This tent to doesn't do anything. I should have made it. Uh, no display equals true in the desktop file, but I didn't. And you get a couple of X terms. Under open box settings, of course we looked at ob menu generator already. Menu schema where you can edit the menu if you want to. Menu config, that's where you can assign which terminal and text editor is used. 
and change a few other things in there if you want to. And here's all your little buttons here to make a static menu with or without icons or a dynamic menu with or without icons. And refresh icon cache. Under open box we get reconfigure open box and restart open box. Quick links to your auto start file which we're about to look at that. The RCXML where you can uh, customize you know key binds whatever you need to customize to your heart's content and to the pycom.conf file. So before we look at auto start I'll go ahead and open it so it'll be there. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and minimize that. Lock is done by SLock and exit. Got some quick links to shut down, restart, and log out. Whew. Okay. Let's look at that auto start file real quick. We're almost finished. Get your pull kit. Again, there's no power management. All this is doing right here that keeps your screen from turning off. Okay? And here's all about the wallpapers, how to how to change those around. To if you wanted to use a single wallpaper all the time and you wanted to use a different one than the default, you would need to change the path right here to whatever your picture is you want to use. Okay, and then log out and log in for it to take effect. If you want to use the wallpaper changer, you would comment out this first line and uncomment this one and then log out and log in for it to take effect. Now, if you go back, there's one thing I discovered if you go back to you from using the wallpaper changer script to just a single wallpaper, once you make the change here in the auto start file, you'll actually have to restart your computer. I don't know why. Bunch of touchpad controls. Oh, we didn't look at Mio Linux accessories, did we? Because this is part of Mio Linux accessories. And just miscellaneous like turning on PyCom, the panel, and volume icon. Let's look real quick at Mio Linux accessories because there's not many. Got a quick link to customize look and feel as root so you can change the look and feel of the root account, you know, the theme, icons, whatever. PC Man FM is root. Basic Mio Linux key bindings. All right. Now these are just some of the key bindings. All right. You click that, you get this notification window. It opens up. S equals super or windows key and we go through all here I'm not gonna go through all these okay but that's what that does now I have this notification set to last 60 seconds I think just so you can have time to really look at it and of course you know you can put your mouse pointer on there and as long as your mouse pointer is on that notification it's gonna stay there or to close it, just click on it with the mouse. All right. Um, what else do we have? Touchpad controls. I'll go ahead and show that real quick. Same thing as what's in the auto start file. These are just here if you want to temporarily, you know, turn something on or off with your touchpad. And last but not least, I always leave the live keyboard layout application on an installed system because there are some people who use more than one keyboard layout and I think that's just an easy way you know for them to be able to change their keyboard layout really quickly on the fly and not have to you know really worry about it. Alright so that's it 
This is the latest release of Mio Linux, even though I said I wasn't going to make any more releases. But if you try it, I hope you enjoy it. And thanks a lot for watching, and you guys take care. All right. Thanks.